Hi, my name is Kurt Othmer from EEG Info and I wanted to take just a moment to show you some of the features in our new software platform called Signet. One of our key ideas in developing software in neurofeedback is to have the most powerful effect that we can get from the software and from this technique. So we're going to work on the best electrode placements and the best frequency selection that we can find for a specific client and get the most effect that we can get for that client. There's certainly a lot of other techniques in this field and it speaks to the effectiveness of this technique that it can be done in lots of different ways still with great effectiveness. And we've seen a lot of other techniques go in the direction of one size fits all. We don't want to go in that direction. We want to go in the direction of having the most effect that we can possibly have on that client and have the most effectiveness that we can get. And that's how we designed this program. The next design philosophy in Signet is ease of use. We want to have a very simple interface for the clinician to allow the clinician to be a clinician and not spend their time being a computer technician. We want to make this very easy for the clinician so that they can very simply adjust electrode placements and adjust reward frequency. For example, we've put this simple reward slider on the screen. We're no longer talking about high and low of that reward band. We're now just talking about one number. Over here you see 16.5 describes the middle of that filter. So easier numbering, easy slider that allows us to just move that around and adjust the reward frequency on the fly and very simply. We can even use the arrow keys to do that. That's just one glimpse of a feature in this program that gives you an idea of how simple we've made the interface. We want to make this really easy for the clinician so they don't have to spend all their time digging in and can just get to the tools that they need very simply and easily. The next key element in Signet is the low frequency. We've been led in this direction in our search for more effectiveness and more power from this technique. And as we move the reward frequency around and choose those electrode placements to find that optimal effectiveness for a given client, we've often been led in the direction of having lower and lower reward frequencies. So when we designed Signet, we built it to be able to take the most advantage of those low frequencies that we can. And that has turned out to be extremely powerful and effective and taken us in, in a vastly new direction. The final element I want to show you in this video, and one of the key features of Signet, is the amazing game selection available in this software. It's easy to access. Again, ease of use is a major theme in Signet. We have this pull-down menu that allows me to go down and without even pausing the software, I can select a game and that game will launch right on the screen. I can go and select a theme. Immediately that game is playing. This game is rollerball. The ball rolls and moves when you're doing the right thing. The sparkles come off the ball when you're doing the right thing. And when it, you reach the end of the level, you're going to hear a nice piece of music and it's going to uncover a picture in the background and you can see that starting to happen now. Now notice without even closing this game, I could have this game running on a second monitor for this cl for a client. I can go in and select another game without pausing or anything and I can choose Intertube for example. Up comes my selection of, of rockets. I'm going to select a rocket. That's my favorite. It's Pack 2 and immediately that game is moving and playing and the client would be hearing music as they're doing the right thing. The rocket races down the tunnel as you're doing the right thing. A dark fog rolls down the tunnel when you're not doing the right thing and that rocket stops and the music volume drops. Another amazing game in Signet is Dual Drive Extreme. This is our latest game, just came out only a few months ago, and this is available with Signet. The client can select a car. This makes it much more exciting as they can choose what car they want to drive. They can choose the uh, buggy or the Borac or the Cobra or the Hummer, muscle car, Camaro, the police car. Let me go back to the Cobra, that's one of the most popular. And with the keyboard, I can rotate around. I can also hold the space bar and rotate all the way around the car. I can choose a color and go with a black Cobra. I hit done. Then I can start a mission. Each one of these levels will last us about, uh, about an entire session almost. Some of them go up to a half hour. Some of them are maybe only half a session. But with each of these levels, you can accommodate a number of sessions. So there's a lot of variety to keep the client interested over, over, very, uh, over continuing sessions. It's going to count down and the car is going to go. You would hear music going in the background. You hear the engine noise as the, rock, as the car races forward. The car drives along as you're doing the right thing. And one of the great things about dual drive is that you get to crash into the other cars. 
So the ADHD kids love this, and they will love this game. And they get to go crash into the other cars, and that gets to be the reward. If they're not doing the right thing, then the car stops. You don't get to go crash into the other cars. You don't get to drive off into the volcanoes and into the lava, and you can see those off in the distance. You can also run this game with a game controller, and the game controller allows you to steer the direction the car is going, but still the brain controls and the neurofeedback controls the speed that the car is going. Another great game is Particle Editor, which has a lot of these themes that can change. We can press Control N on the keyboard and walk through a given theme of similar patterns. Here the theme is to make each of the designs move and spin and glow. I can go and with a control L for the launcher, I can go back to the launcher and pick a different theme, and I can walk through that theme. Here, the idea is to make this light flow out from the picture, and you notice each one of the themes is similar. And there's lots of themes within Particle Editor. This is for the audience that isn't drawn to dual drive. This is for the people who would like something calm and serene to enjoy, and gives a nice dynamic and a nice selection in, in the games. Another selection in the games is Hyper Pong, which is a fun game where the ball bounces and moves. Again, you're going to see that idea where the game goes dark when you're not doing the right thing and moves and is active when you're doing the right thing. That's just a really brief overview of Signet. There's a lot more features to discover in this software. We have Alpha Theta and two-channel Alpha Theta and a volume control built right into the software program and artifact inhibits and session playback, session recording, multiple inhibits. We have a lot of features and a lot of exciting stuff, not only in Signet, but also being constantly added and built. Many, many new features coming, and you're going to see that. And also a philosophy that we, as much as possible, are going to be giving those features away. We're going to be adding those, putting those updates on the web for free as much as possible. Please join me at one of my uh, free Signet demos. If you go to the whatissignet.com website, you can sign up for a free live demo where I spend two hours going over this software and all the features that are available and answer questions about frequency and amplitude and electrode placements and all about how we use this software. And then also consider joining us for one of our four-day intro classes where we really go in depth, not into the technical side like I'm doing here, but into the clinical side and how we think about adjusting the reward frequency and how we think about adjusting those electrode placements. And so I hope we see you there.